Hi everybody, welcome back to The Tiny Moose. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ivanka and I am your professional organizer. So it's that time of year where school's done and most of you are shipping your little rascals off to camp. I'm gonna help teach you how to pack properly for a camp situation. So my services have been enlisted here in this home. There's a child heading off to camp tomorrow. So we're gonna see what she needs help with and how she's coming along. Hi. Hi, I hear you need some help packing. No, I'm actually already done. We'll see. rid of most of the unnecessary items we're gonna go through her clothing these are your t-shirts you say yeah how many months were you going away for I'm only going away for three weeks oh boy let's see for 21 days and you packed 23 t-shirts? What, is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> so, what we've done here is we've narrowed down what it is that she needs to pack. This is specifically for a hiking, backpacking type of camp. I just wanted to be clear with that. Okay, so, it's pretty simple. We've got the main things back here that we need. We have our tent, we have her pillow, sleeping bag, mattress, the backpack that everything is going to go in. We have a rain jacket. Very, very important. We never know what the weather is going to be like, so you always want to be prepared. We have sneakers for sporting things, sandals for beach and just walking around during the day, and hiking boots for when she's actually hiking with all of this in her bag. We have a pair of pajamas, bathing suits, underwear, the underwear, that's entirely up to you. Um, you can do give your child enough for however long they're going to be gone, or if you're going to be doing laundry coming up on weekends and doing that, just give them enough for that week, and then do the laundry, and then they'll have enough. So same with all of the other clothing. Underwear is a bigger one because you want to change those every day, but something like shorts, we have one, two, three, four pairs of shorts because she can mix and match the tops. She's going for three weeks, however, we do, it's okay to mix and match outfits. It's kind of like a capsule wardrobe. You'll be okay with that, yeah, right? I'm She'll good. be okay with that. She'll be fine. She's a cool kid. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tops for seven days of the week. So she can switch those out and then when her parents come and do laundry, then they can clean those up. But she can mix and match for different outfits. It's important to get breathable materials for when you're going camping because Let's say, and I hope, I do wish you sunshine, but that's not always the case. If it's raining the entire time, you're gonna have trouble. And if you get wet, something like this dries a lot faster. Okay, so with the colors, we wanna get bright colors. Reason being is that mosquitoes don't see bright colors. And also, when there are mosquitoes on you, you can see them. If you're wearing always black, there's a mosquito on you, you're gonna get bitten alive. You're not even gonna see them, and they're gonna be more attracted to you. However, if you're wearing a color like this and there's a mosquito on you, you got it, he's gone. Also, loose fitting tops. So you don't want to wear something that's really tight because the mosquito can penetrate right through. That's not going to be fun. Again, you're going to get eaten alive. Something that's loose, they might get their little stinger or whatever that is, I don't know, the, the, this, this <laughs> thing, through the shirt, but it's so far away from your skin it's not going to matter. So joke's on them. Hi. Okay, so here we have two long sleeve shirts, one fleece. Fleece are important because it's really good for warmth. Down here we have um, bras, two pairs of pants. We have um, a dark pair of pants and a heavier pair of track pant. Over here we have the her wash up stuff. The smaller the bag, the better. You don't want to be coming to camp with, you know, tons of makeup and things like that. Especially, how old are you? Like five? Thirteen. Okay, close. I was close. Thirteen. <laughs> Okay, you don't really need makeup. There's nobody you need to impress, it's camp. That's true. All right, so in here we have her, all of her eating stuff. 
They do have, I know at MEC, they have ones that can fold even more compact than that, but that's pretty good because that's pretty light, so it won't be heavy for you. Okay, so another thing we have is her scouting uniform. This is a scouting camp, so she needs her uniform. All of the pieces are there. I recommend bringing two pairs of socks just in case one pair gets stinky. So that's that. Um, we have a water bottle. You always want your child to be hydrated at camp. Water bottles are a huge thing. I recommend that should be like one of the first things you pack. A hat to protect your child from the sun, sunglasses. A flashlight. Flashlights are very important. Uh, we don't allow cell phones at our scouting camps, right? Because who are you going to call? Your friends are all there anyway. Um, so a flashlight, don't rely on your cell phone camera for a flashlight. Bring a, this is a headlamp specifically. Those are the best because then you don't have to hold it. You can walk around, especially if you're, if you're hiking with your big backpack. Um, we have knives. Now this, I have to specify, is for scouting camp because we teach the children how to, you know, whittle sticks and that sort of thing. So we teach them essentially how to play with knives. Yeah. Um, which is, the next part is why the first aid kit is in there. So you also want to bring a first aid kit. But if your child is just going to a regular old church camp or something like that, don't pack knives, please. I don't, please, that terrible idea. Okay, next we have um, the essentials, like the sunscreen, mosquito repellent. We have a compass so that we don't get lost because we in Ukrainian Scouts tend to send the kids off somewhere and say, find your way back. <laughs> They think we're kidding. Uh, we have rope um, for all sorts of different purposes. If you need a clothesline or if something on your tent breaks and you need extra rope, there are a million reasons for that. Um, goggles for swimming if your child has sensitivity to water. Down there we have a pad of paper, like a little book with a pen, and I recommend bringing a pencil as well. If your child wants to write you letters because they are prone to getting homesick, I would encourage that. Letter writing is a great thing. I still have some of my pen pals from when I was 13 years old. So those are some of my fondest memories and I think my parents still kept some of the letters that I wrote. So that's a great thing to have. Now if your child is writing to you at home, send them also with the envelope pre-stamped and pre-addressed so that they can just pop the letter in and send it off to you. We also have a hairbrush because you want to keep your hair looking nice and fresh especially because you're not going to be washing it that often, so you want to be able to comb it out. And then we have a dirty laundry bag. I spoke about your children having enough clothes for a week and then parents coming up on weekends, which is most often the case for a lot of these camps. So, or even yourself, if you're the child and you're doing the laundry yourself at the end of the week in a river or a lake, then having it in a separate bag really does help. Now socks. Socks are a really, really important thing to have. Reason being, at night, you want your feet to be warm, whether it's if you're, because she's going to be in a sleeping bag in a tent. So if it could get really, really cold where she's going, having a pair of socks on her feet is going to help, especially if she's hiking or whatever she's doing during the day. I think it's better to overpack socks just to make sure you have your feet warm than it is to not have enough. They don't take up that much space. I'm not saying go out and start packing 50 pairs of socks, but Use your own discretion as a parent what you think your child could need. I usually pack seven for the seven days of the week and just keep re-wearing them. If they really stink, wash them in the lake during one of your hikes, no big deal. Okay, another thing is packing a towel. So you don't wanna pack a large beach towel because again, all of this has to fit in her backpack. So what we have here is a microfiber towel. material but as you can see it turns out to be quite a large towel but it packs up nicely and it's easy to dry once it's been wet you just put it on a clothesline or hang it on a tree and it'll be dry in no time now another thing talking about dry we have here I don't know if you can see so I'm gonna come a little bit closer so we have here some matches matches are important to keep dry obviously because if you can't start the fire, you don't have a fire to keep warm, or in their case, they cook a lot of their food on a fire. So there's no cooks in the kitchen where she's going. She is the cook. So if you can't build a fire, you're gonna be a very hungry girl. So what we recommend is putting them in a pill bottle. That keeps them dry. On top, they've glued the side of the matchbox where you can get it started. I'm not gonna start a match in her house in case I light their house on fire, but Put it in this and then I always keep it extra safe by putting it in a Ziploc bag after that. 
Okay, so that was everything in terms of what it is we want to pack. Tune into the next video if you want to know how it is we pack it and how we fit all of this into there. Happy camping, everyone!